Johann Conrad Dippel was a German pietist theologian, alchemist, and physician. He was born on August 10, 1673 and died on April 25, 1734. Dippel was born at Castle Frankenstein near Moltel and Darmstadt. He studied theology, philosophy, and alchemy at the University of Gießen, obtaining a master's degree in theology in 1693. He published many theological works under the name Christianus Democritus, and most of them are still preserved. 1700 He turned to hermetic studies and alchemy as a key to nature. Between 1700 and 1702 he engaged in a bitter dispute with the Reformed Court Church in Offenbach, with whom he shared millenarian hopes for soon coming renewal in Christendom. He accused some of the Church of compromise and collusion with the authorities after they refused to publish Dippel's The Scourging Papacy of the Protestants on the Offenbach Press. Dippel led an adventurous life often getting into trouble because of his disputed opinions and his problems with managing money. He was eventually imprisoned for heresy, where he served a seven-year sentence. He created an animal oil known as Dippel's oil which was supposed to be the equivalent to the alchemist's dream of the elixir of life. At one point, Dippel attempted to purchase Castle Frankenstein in exchange for his elixir formula, which he claimed he had recently discovered, the offer was turned down. Dippel and the pigment maker Diesbach used potassium carbonate contaminated with this oil in producing red dyes. To their surprise, they obtained a blue pigment Berliner Blau, also called Prussian Blue. Dippel did however, experiment quite frequently with dead animals, of which he was an avid dissector. In his dissertation Maladies and Remedies of the Life of the Flesh, Dippel claims to have discovered both the elixir of life and the means to exorcise demons through potions he concocted from boiled animal bones and flesh. This is the same essay in which Dippel claimed to believe that souls could be transferred from one corpse to another by using a funnel. It is believed that during his stay at Frankenstein Castle, Dippel practiced not only alchemy but also anatomy and may have performed experiments on dead bodies that he exhumed or stole at the castle and that a local cleric warned his parish that Dippel had created a monster that was brought to life by a bolt of lightning. Dippel shifted all of his energy exclusively on his alchemical experiments. He set up a lab near Wittgenstein. Most believe he moved from Castle Frankenstein because of fears and threats from the locals. He died at Wittgenstein Castle near Bad Losf, probably from a stroke, though some contemporaries suspected poisoning. 